Hi, I'm Art, and I'm joined here by Gemma, who's one of our lead designers at our company. And she's going to talk a little bit about this woodland, whimsical woodland theme designs that she's been creating that might be some great ideas for you to uh, have done in your home by uh, you know, definitely a professional to make it just connect properly. And Gemma's going to share some of the ideas and the inspiration behind what she created and, and really how she made this magical arrangement appear. And this could last in your home or office for as much as 30 days. Would you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, it can. Um, like Art said, this is a woodland themed arrangement. It's very naturalistic. It's very rustic. It's composed of all natural elements, fresh, Christmas greens or winter greens, um, <clears throat> white birch logs. I love that. Um, and then you've also put some a very a rustic, succulents on there. Yes, a very rustic um, vine treatment at the base to camouflage our water source. All of this is arranged in foam in plastic containers that can be watered so it will last a very long time it's ideal for a centerpiece it's ideal for like a mantelpiece um, it will go for forever once you water your greens if if you you are a, a nature person and you don't like too much flowery uh, decorations this is ideal for you if you have a little bit of whimsy you can add cute snowy owls to the arrangement and this is gonna make it quite whimsical and it's a kind of talking point when people come to your home and they see stuff like this they you know they are naturally drawn to it and they ask you about it. So you have a conversation piece sitting on your dining table or your mantelpiece. Make the deer? We can even make it more naturalistic and add a deer. Of course, we have him placed. Don't try this at home yourself. <laughs> make sure you have a trained florist to do this for you. Of course. A trained professional florist. That's beautiful. So you can really create now. Show us some of the complimenting pieces that we we're talking about okay. as well. If, if you're having a party and you wish this to be like your centerpiece or your main conversation piece, you can add smaller pieces. I love such the use of the succulents. These. They're gorgeous. These can go on small tables. They can go all the way down. one long table and make a breakaway centerpiece and you can place mosses and pods and owls. pine cones and owls in between you can put candlelight because it's a forest you can have the flick of the candlelight um, like moonlight Beautiful. Um, and if it's a big party you throw in can be your buffet pieces. And it all goes together so nicely and you can see that they all basically connect when they're together. We you can break them away, you can set them all around the room. It's just so much you can do with this and every bit of it looks so natural and whimsical. And we're in the woodland forest. So thanks for watching and Please check with the local florist to do this for you and put it together so it's mechanically correct and it doesn't uh, harm any of the uh, your tables or the areas that they're placed. It's important that you don't put them in direct sunlight. You got to watch for direct air hitting them. There's just a lot of small uh, details that you should really pay close attention to. And again, check with your local florist for the best tips on uh, placement and use of products like this. You can make them into a nice long table scape, we call it, where you line up all the pieces and you can connect them with woods. Um, branches, curly willow, vine, whatever you like, and then you can break them apart and use them around your house, and you can enjoy them for as much as a month later, as long as you keep the items watered. Thank you very much, Emma. You're welcome.